Right, okay, students. So we have to discuss uh, today's session uh, from twenty first question. Right, okay. Uh, so twenty first question is given that uh, it's a matrix, right? Uh, so it's like this: see, minus one is there, zero is there, x is there, y is there, right? And plus three, two, zero, x. And it's equal to two and one one two six. Okay, so this means two into something, right? So I'm writing this this as an answer like this: two into one. This means this mark, right? So two into one, two. Two into one, two. Two into two, four. Two into six, it's so that is the answer for this, right? Okay. So uh, usually they don't give this one. So you have to know in a bracket, you know what is this, right? Two plus x. You know this is multiplication, right? So you need to know that. And uh, okay. So answer is this. So I'm writing this again, right? See this one minus one zero x y and here plus three two zero x and i'll tell you how to do that right okay see this is like a box right this is a matrix there are columns there are rows right okay so this minus one in this left corner plus three equals two right see minus one plus three equals two okay okay likewise zero plus two equals two x plus 0 should be equal to 4. So, x plus 0 equals 4, which means x equals 4, okay? So, we found x, right? And then next, this one and this one. y plus x equals 12, right? y plus x equals 12. We already found that x means 4. So, y plus 4 equals 12 you know y equals 8 right so that is the answer for that so this is matrix 20 first one so x equals 4 y equals 12 you can pause the video and you can write it and we'll move to the next question it is 20 second one if you have any question uh, you can ask us right if you, have, if you have any question you just uh, Talk to me a text, so uh, I will look at it, right? Okay, so next one the circumference of the base of a cone is 16 pi centimeters. Okay, okay, this is the cone, right? This is the cone in Singhala, it is known as K2, right? So, base of the cone is circular shape, right? We know how to find the circumference of a circle it is 2 phi r if the radius is r right okay and in here they given the cons base circumference equals to the cons base circumference equals to 16 pi right okay we know what is the formula for to find out this circumference it is 2 phi r right so what i did right so it, it is equal here as 16 phi. So what I have to do here is 2 phi r should be equal to 16 pi because I want to find the radius. Okay, 16 pi. Pi to 5, cut it out. Can I cut like that? Yeah, sure. See this one. 2 phi r equals 16 pi. So I want to cut off to uh I want to uh, isolate r. What I want to do is 2 r equals 16 pi over pi, right? That means this will be carried on, right? And I want to isolate this r, so what I'm doing, 16 over 2 should be equal to 8. So I found radius, it is 8 centimeters, right? You have to write 8 centimeters. Here also same what I did, 5 to 5 I cut it off because uh, both are on the same side, right? And 2 to 16 I can cut it off or I can isolate r like this and I can put 8 centimeters, that's okay, right? So that is the first answer. 
and they are asking the perpendicular height of the slant uh, the perpendicular height if the slant height is 10 centimeters right okay so slant height means this one right side it is 10 centimeters they are given we already found the radius it is 8 centimeters and they ask us to find the perpendicular height perpendicular height if it is perpendicular height i can see something like this like a triangle right just 90 degrees okay so here 10 centimeters, here 8 centimeters, I need to find perpendicular height. Okay, so while you're seeing this, what you can know is Pythagoras. You have to remember Pythagoras. Pythagoras, what he says, square of the hypotenuse equals to square of addition of other both sides, right? That means 10 square should be equal to h square plus 8 squared. 100 equals h squared plus 64 okay so this 64 comes to this side right that means 100 minus 64 equals h squared that means 36 equals h squared 6 equals h the standard method of writing this one h equals 6 centimeters you found out the perpendicular height i hope you understand okay i hope you understood so if you can't uh you can't uh, not if you don't understand anything just ask us right so this is the method to find out you need to find out this is a triangle okay inside a con the height and the one radius and one slant height means it's like a triangle it's like so we can apply pythagoras for that okay so pause this and write whatever thing you want and the final answers definitely should be with centimeters otherwise uh, you will not be given marks, right? Right, okay. And so we'll move on to the next question. It's 23rd, right? Okay, so 23rd. Uh, keep a look at that. 23rd one. Using the knowledge of uh, knowledge on angular triangles and the information given in the figure, find the value of x. So let me draw that, right? Okay, it's like this. Equiangular triangle means all angles are equal in both both triangles, but different in size, right? This is large triangle, this is small triangle, but all angles inside this, however, in whatever manner, they both are equal. I'll separate this both and draw for my, uh, so that will be easy for me, right? So one is this, the other one is this. Okay, okay, and so uh, ha uh, they have given some informations, right? Uh, so this both parallel, okay, and this is 35 degrees, this is 35 degrees, right? Okay, and uh, see uh, if this both lines are parallel, this one and this one, what we can say, this angle and this angle should be equal, okay, right, and then. Uh, so this angle and this angle should be also equal. So these both are equiangular triangles, right? Okay, and they have given uh, five centimeters for this side, four centimeters to this side, six centimeters for this part, right? And uh, this part is x. Okay, that's it. They have given right x centimeters. Okay, now as these both are equiangular triangles, I can put an equation or the formula. It's like this. Uh, this large triangles sides are sides are proportionate to small angle sides, right? It's like this. See, okay, I separated this one. So see this one. This triangle here, from here to here, it should be six plus four. It is ten. Ten here, right? It is opposite to this angle. Okay, okay, right. And in the small one, this part it should be six, right? And uh, this part, it should be 5, opposite to this one, right? Okay, and uh, see, uh, 10, okay, right. And 35 degrees are there, no? red color, 35 degrees. Here, this one is 35. Uh, this one is also 35, okay? That one is 35. So, in front of 35, x is there. In front of 35, 6 is there, okay? So, what I can do here is, these both are equiangular triangles. What I can do is this 
side, which means opposite to this angle, this side is 10. Same angle in this small triangle, opposite to this angle is 5. Over 5. Should be equal to, because the equiangular triangle should be equal. Large ones opposite to 35 is x. Over. This is large one, this is small one. This is large one, this is small one. Think this is A triangle, this is B triangle. So A1, B1, right? Large one, small one, large one. And small one, which one should come? Uh, in front of 35, opposite to 35, it's 6. Now I know you can solve it, right? 10, 5 is 2. This 6 come over this side. So 6 by 2 is 12. X equals 12 centimeters. So that is the answer for X. Okay, I hope you get it. Uh, pause the video and you can uh, write it down, right? Okay, now we'll move on to the next question, right? Yeah. We discussed only uh, eight questions uh, today. I'm doing this separate for you because uh, last day we couldn't record the session. Uh, some uh, small mistakes happened. Okay, so write down 24th one. Okay, 24th one. Write down an expression in terms of mm, for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression whose first term is 1 and common ratio is 2. Okay, in a geometric progression, right, geometric progression, uh, there are two formulas for you. One is Tn equals, right, Tn equals number of terms equals A R n minus 1, the power of n minus Okay, this is to find out the number of terms that which means if you think it's like 2, 6, 18, 54, it works like that. 2 into 3, 6, right? 6 by 3, 18. This is the geometric, not the arithmetic. Arithmetic means plus, plus, plus. Here, yeah? multiple by, multiple by, like that. Okay, into 3, into 3, 8 into 3, 54, right? In here, Common ratio is 3. First term is 2. You get it? Right. If I want to find the third term, I want to put this formula so I can find this one. Okay. Just look at this one, will you? Okay. This is not regarding the question. I'll just, I'm just saying. Right. I want to find the third term. Okay. T3. This is third one. 1, 2, 3. T3. Equals. A means first term. Right. 2. Right. If I know the first term, A, I can put. Common ratio, what is it? Common ratio is 3. Okay. 3, N minus 1. N means here, N of 3. So, 3 minus 1. Okay. Right. So, 3, 2 into 3 to the power 2. 3 minus 1, 2. That means 3 by 3, 9 by 2 equals 18. Okay. We found out third term as 18. Get it? Right. So, this is one formula in geometric progression. You can write it down. Right. The other formula is if I want to find out, right, if I want to find out the sum of these three terms, 2 plus 6 plus 18, we will have to find out like that, right, if you want to find average in uh, school examinations, right. So, uh, some, somehow, uh, it is necessary for us, right, in daily -day life. So, 2 plus 6 plus 18, it comes as 20, 26, 26, right? So, 26 comes, okay? So, when it, 20, it is 26, we want to find it out now. So, there is another formula to find sum of the terms, right? Sum of the number of terms. We have the formula for that. I will erase this one. We have formula for that. Sn, sum of terms or sum of the numbers. S n equals a r n minus 1 over r minus 1. A r n minus 1. Okay. R n minus 1. Okay. And then wait, r, sorry, 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 sorry. R n minus 1 like this. Right. And r minus 1. This is the formula for that. Right. Okay. Now, in the question, what they asking us is, 
uh, write down an expression in terms of n. N means n, right? The for the sum of the first n terms of the sum of the first n terms uh, of a geometric provision whose first term is one. First term here a a is one and common ratio is two. Okay, common ratio is two. That's given, right? So here, hi, how I have to find out equals a means one r two n minus one. Okay. And here, r means 2 minus 1. Okay, this equals 1 is there, no? So, something, if, see, uh, 1 into 2 plus 3. What is that? 2 plus 3, 5 into 1, it's also 5. So, that's nothing. So, we can leave 1. So, 2n minus 1, right? 2n minus 1 over, which one? 2 minus 1 is 1, okay? Something under 1, okay, something over 1 is equal to that amount. See, uh, just 2 over 1 equals to 2. 5 over 1 equals to 5. Likewise, right? So, you can write that also like that. So, this one also, right? So, finally, it equals to 2 in minus 1 or else 2 in minus both are, right so you can write like that okay so that is the answer better to write this answer okay uh arn minus one uh so that is the answer for that okay okay i'm erasing the board and we'll move on to the next one 20. Okay, okay, so 25th one, using the information given in the figure and the fact that sine 30 equals half, find the value of x, find the value of tan theta. So this is the diagram, see this properly, I, I, thought, I think uh, you didn't do this in uh, school yet, right? So uh, just listen pro uh, properly, so carefully, I tell you, <coughs> sorry. Here uh, it is uh, theta degrees. Theta, don't be scared of this theta, okay? I can put A, B, C, D because I don't know something, no? For usually, uh, for angles, they're using theta, beta, eta, theta, like that, right? Okay, so theta is just a symbol, okay? Uh, so here A, uh, B, B, C, okay? Uh, and, uh, 12 x is there here 12 here it's x centimeters mm, and this side 30 degrees okay okay so that's it uh, here okay now i have i want to find the value of x okay usually uh, in trigonometry trigonometry lesson we have sine cos tan right sine cos tan okay thing ala the telling sucker Bakar sub. What's it? Sucker sine cos bakar tan sub. Sine cos tan. I know it's secondary. So sucker bakar sub. Also, I can okay. I'll uh, elaborate that one. Right. In uh, when we have a right angle triangle. Okay. What is this hypotenuse? Right. Hypotenuse. Right. Okay. If I consider this angle, this angle. Opposite to this angle is Sammukapadi. Single they call as Sammukapadi. So opposite side. Right? Adjacent, okay, it with with this angle, the side with this angle is known as adjacent side. So I'm writing A. Adjacent side. Okay, this is Sammukapadi. Sammuka. Sammuka. Right? Hypotenuse known as Karnaya. K. Here, adjacent side is known as B. Right, so what I can write instead of sir, I can put O, K, H, uh, B, A, K, H, S, O, B, A. Okay, so sine, cosine, O, H, H, O, A. Okay, you can go like that, right? Both of us, right? Right, okay, so with that knowledge, we're going to move 
to the uh, to find out x right so here they have given 30 i have an opposite side one to this angle right x is there and curve x is there right opposite side okay o and h what i have sine o h is there okay so i'm writing sine equals o over h right don't write this at the exam okay uh, so oh oh means x over 12 they already given in the question sine 30 oh, sorry sine 30 sine 30 equals to half so i can write half instead of sine 30 equals x over 12 okay so can i find this one x yeah sure okay so 12 comes over here x equals 12 over 2 equals 6 centimeters so i can find x is 6 centimeters right okay now in the next question what they're asking next part they're asking us to find tan theta right you know how to find tan theta o a o a right for this angle what is opposite side okay. tan theta equals for this angle what is opposite side this side is opposite side okay so i'm putting uh six centimeters right and for this angle what is adjacent side is this one are uh, they already given this as eight right okay uh, sorry for the inconvenience happening surrounding uh right so this is as eight they have given this as eight okay so i can write as eight so six over eight means three over four you can write like this as final answer or else you can convert into 0 0.75 if it is necessary okay and you can go to the trigonometry book sign book and you can find out what is uh, what stands for 0 0.75 okay so that's the thing right so that is the that part. that's done and just pause it and copy down this one amazing okay okay so we'll move to the next one Next one uh, is considering the expression x minus y cube, find the value of theta plus. Right. First of all, I must one. You need to know this. If there's something x minus y squared, you already know how to find it out. X here plus is there, right? The plus is there, but we don't write that. So plus x squared. We can expand this like that x squared right 2 into x into y minus y 2 into x into minus y 2 into x 2x 2x minus y 2xy which xy 2 minus 2 so, right and uh, minus y into minus y minus y squared minus y into minus y means plus y squared okay that's the answer for that likewise you have to find out this one also q right for this one you can write like this x into x to x x cube right and 3 into x into y but here what do you want to do you have to put square for this one at the first term square for this one at the second term uh, you will know how i right so x cube and uh, 3 into x into minus y should be minus no then okay so 3 i will put x squared y here right and the next one I'm putting plus 3xy squared. Can you see the difference? x squared here, y squared here. And finally, minus y into minus y into minus y, minus y cubed. So this is the expansion of that thing. Okay, now I will write the question given. It's there 2, 24 cube minus uh, sorry, 3 into uh, 24 squared into 4 plus 3 into 20 into 4 squared minus 4 cube. This one is right. So uh, see this one. It is like that. This one is like this. See this part. It is like totally this part. Isn't it? See this part, it is totally like this part. Isn't it? See this part, totally like this part. 
right? Okay, if I break this down like this, okay, without expanding, x minus y cube, it's like that, right? Okay, so here x, here x, so I can take 24, right? Y is like last term is 4 minus 4, right? And uh, in front of that, 2 is there, okay, I'll put 2, right? Okay, then I can, I have to solve it, okay, that's easy. 24 minus 4, 20, and 3 is there, it is Q, okay? So what I have to do here, 2 by 20 Q, 2 into 20 into 20 into 20, 2 by 2, 4, 4 by 2, 8, 8 by 2, 16, right, 16, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, final answer for the calculation okay i think you get it okay if you don't get it just see it again uh, if you don't get it properly you can go through a uh, uh, youtube link i uh, post it right okay so i'm uh, erasing we'll move on to the next question okay. these are very easy things uh, to understand them properly so these are very uh, a tangent is drawn to a circle at P shown in the figure. Using the given information, find the value of the circle. What do you know? Do you know what is tangent? Tangent, if the circle is there, if a line touches the circle only from one point, only from one point, it is, this line is known as a tangent, right? So that is the tangent, right? So in this circle, in this circle, okay. I can write it properly. Uh, draw it properly. Okay. In this circle, uh, from P there's a tangent. Right? So from P there's a tangent. Right? There, there's a way to draw tangent. So P here it is T and uh, from here this line which means here, right? And uh, to P uh, there's another one. Okay, in this lesson, you need to know. Oh, uh, sorry. Right, right. Okay. So uh, they have given uh, forty-five for this. Twenty-five for this. Okay. Right. So that's what they have given. Uh, R, S. P and P, I already mentioned. They ask us to find X, right? So this is the thing, what I want to do. Uh, first, I want to tell, in a circle, right? If there's a tangent like this, okay? If you have a triangle inside that, which uh, contacts with uh, the outer layer, outer, outer corner, in all the circumference of the circle, if it's like this, this angle equals to this angle. Okay, adjacent angles when you draw a uh, uh, this thing, right tangent. Okay, and that and then this angle, this angle equals to this angle. You need to know that. That is the first thing, right? Next, other thing is in this, if you have a circle like this, if you draw a segment like this. Okay, if you draw like this one and starting from the same segment like this these and both angles are equal right so angles on a segment okay so with that knowledge what i'm going to do c p and s p and s is the same segment of this and this that means this is 45 means this also should be 45 they found out first thing right if this is 45 see this one p r x i'm sorry uh see p r s this triangle this the tangent right so like this so this angle opposite angle opposite interior angle and this one 
to be equal, right? So this is 45, okay? Okay, when I considering the total triangle, this one, I have 25 and 45 for this angle, 45 for this angle, x for this angle. Now you know the rest, right? Some of the interior angles in a triangle is 180. So 45 plus 25 plus 45 plus x equals 180, right? 45, 45, 90, 90 plus 25, 115. 115 plus x equals 180, x equals 65 degrees. So that is the answer. I hope you understand. Uh, so this is the segment, same segment. Okay. For 25 also, I can take like this. Is R and S same segment. This one and this one. So this one also will be 25. We don't need that for the question. Okay. So that is the answer for that thing. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, just remind me. I'll tell you. Right. Okay. And then uh, that was 27th one. 28th one. That's, that was the uh, last. Uh, discussion uh, 28 one that is very 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 easy just only if you uh, read the question you will have the answer right the surface area of a solid sphere which is sphere solid sphere right surface area of solid sphere of radius 2 centimeter is a centimeter okay this one's area equals a centimeter square right this one's radius equals 2 centimeters. That's what they have given. Right? Uh, and the surface area of the curved surface of the solid cylinder. Okay? So, curved surface of a solid cylinder. Solid cylinder. That's area. Uh, solid cylinder of radius and height 2 centimeters. Radius and height. 2 centimeters, right? Radius and height, 2 centimeters. Uh, H is B centimeters squared. So it is B C M squared, right? right? Find the value of A over B. They ask, find the value of A over B, right? For this thing, okay, they're given. The surface area of solid sphere of radius R is 4 pi R squared. They are going to 4 pi R squared, right? And uh, they have given uh, surface area of curved surface of solid cylinder of radius r uh, and height h is 2 pi r h. So this is 2 pi r h. Okay. So um, uh, see, they have given the information. So 4 pi r means 2. So 2 into 2. Right. So I write it like this. 4 into pi into. 2 into 2, that means 2 square, right? Here, 2 into pi into r means 2 into h means 2. So, okay, plus center, I can cut them off. 2 to 2, 2 to 2, pi to pi. Finally, 4 over 2, a over b. 2 to 2, that one, it's 2. So, a over b equals 2. Right, okay, students, so 